Hello everybody and welcome back to the Pokemon Emerald Play. This is part 29, version 1. Oh, just actually it's part 29, sorry. It was over 15 minutes so I had to change it. Uh, we're actually right here, got something pulled up, we're actually going to say some facts. So I'm not even going to commentate on what's happening on the video, yeah. Okay. Pokemon. Pokemon Snapple. Okay. Pokemon is a media franchise published and owned by the video game company Nintendo and created by Shitori... Uh, 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 Tajari. Not Jerry, whatever. In 1996. My birthday. Look at Steven. <laughs> um, originally released as a pair of interlinkable Game Boy role playing video games. It's a long sentence. Uh, Pokemon has since become the second most successful and lucrative video game based media franchise in the world. Behind Mario. Behind only Nintendo's own Mario series. Pokemon properties has since been merchandised into anime, manga, trading cards, toys, books, and other media. What? Movies? <laughs> There's really not much other media. Songs? The, the franchise... They did, have some they did, actually. The franchise celebrated its 10th anniversary in 2006. Um, and as of May 28, 2010, I like how they got it in military date, uh, cumulative sales of the video games, including home console versions such as the Pikachu. Oh, I love it. The Pikachu, Nintendo 64. That's oh, that's pretty epic. Is there just a game called Pikachu? No, I mean like the head. No, no, no. I'm just, uh, including home console versions such as the Pikachu. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. It's a Nintendo 64 that's got Pikachu on it. Okay. Yeah. I was thinking, I don't remember a game. Pokemon just called Pikachu. Uh, uh, have reached more than 20 million copies. A lot of copies, everybody. Okay. The name Pokemon is the Ro uh, Roman's eyes contract. Yeah, that would be easier. It's an abbreviation of Japanese brand. No, it's not a abbreviation. It's just uh, it comes from the Japanese brand Pocket Monsters. <laughs> or Paketo Monsuda, we are going to say in Japanese. Uh, as such contractions... Oh, it's contracted, okay. As such contractions are quite common in Japan. The term Pokemon, in addition to referring to the Pokemon franchise itself, also collectively refers to the 943 plus... I said 943, didn't I? The 493 plus... Since this evidently hasn't been updated, this Wikipedia page has it. Since I believe there's now 500 plus. I believe there's 30 more Pokemon to release from Black and White. Uh, fictional species that have made appearances in Pokemon media as the release of the Pokemon role playing game uh, for the Nintendo DS, Pokemon Heart Gold, and Soul Silver. Uh, like the words deer and sheep, the word Pokemon is identical in both the singular, singular and plural. Those are two weird things they chose, deer and sheep. Whatever. Uh, as it, it as is each individual species name, in short, it is grammatically correct to say both one Pokemon and many Pokemon, as well as one Pikachu and many Pikachu. Yeah, I just never noticed that. They don't actually have a plural version of Pokemon names. Huh. You never hear skitties or... Huh, that's... Wait. Never noticed that. Well, it wouldn't make sense if I'm just saying, look at all those Pokemon. Oh, uh oh, because there's only one. I know, but... <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. Look at all of them Arceus. Well, well, it makes sense. One like, of them must be fake. <laughs> makes sense for, like... Yeah. Bang. Uh, in November 2005, four kids, <clears throat> Entertainment, they want to call themselves Entertainment, which had managed the non-game related licensing of Pokemon, announced that it had agreed not to renew the Pokemon representation aid agreement. Pokemon USA Incorporated, now the Pokemon Company International, a, substan a, a subsidiary of Japan's Pokemon Company, now oversees all Pokemon licensing outside of Asia. Thank you! No more poor kids! The concept, Pokemon. We still gotta get 10 minutes. <laughs> that took 4 minutes to read all that? Okay, well, whatever. Concept. The concept of Pokemon Universe, uh, in both the video games and the general fiction world of Pokemon, stems from the oh yeah we're in the gym. Uh, stems from the hobby of insect collecting. I really hate this gym by the way. Uh, a popular pastime which Pokemon ex executive directors 
Hashi Tajari Oniwa Oniwa uh, and Jordan Child. I not know that. Are you actually paying attention to the video? Yes, I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, that's a high level. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, where was I? Oh, I do. That's why most of the videos get out. Players of the game are designed as Pokemon trainers, and the two general goals in most Pokemon games for such trainers are one, to complete the Pokédex by collecting all the available Pokemon species found in the fictional region where the game takes place. So yeah, like that's ever gonna be able to happen. Unless you got every freaking game ever made. There's a lot of friends. Uh. And two, to train a team of power Pokemon uh, from those they have caught competing against teams owned by other trainers and eventually become the strongest trainer, the Pokemon Master. Now wait a second. So one of the two main goals is not to, you know, beat the game? No, no, no. It said right here. Uh, two general goals. I believe one of the general goals would be the elite, be the elite forward champion. Become Pokemon champion, and possibly I hate that movie. And possibly, you know, complete Pokédex, not complete Pokédex and create a powerful team. That does not be the game. But, uh, they don't want you. To That's why I actually think people for it. I was defeated. The game was made really what? Really anyway. These themes of collecting, trading, and battling are present in almost every version of the Pokemon franchise, including the video games, the anime and manga series, and the Pokemon trading card games. That leaves nothing else that wouldn't have all that. Sometimes I hate how they word this crap. Are we at the gym leader? I mean, are we at Henry? That's a Pelipper. Oh yeah, it's only level 29 Pelipper, okay. In most incarnations of the fictional Pokemon universe, a trainer that encounters a wild Pokemon is able to capture that Pokemon by throwing a specially designed, fast, reductible, spherical tool called a Pokeball. Um, if the Pokemon is unable to escape the confines of the Pokeball, it is officially considered to be under the ownership of that trainer. Yay, slavery! <laughs> Afterwards, it will, it will obey whether, whatever its new master commands. Unless the trainer demonstrates such a lack of experience that the Pokemon would rather act out on its own accord. I actually remember that happening a few times. Not on the game, but in the show. Well, uh, well the game will... I mean, Pokemon in the game will... Uh, yeah, if you don't have a high enough gym badge. But I never had that problem. I always trade after I already beat the game, but... Um... Uh, trainers can send out any of their Pokemon to wage non-lethal battles against other Pokemon. If the, Poke if the opposing Pokemon is wild, the trainer can capture that Pokemon with a Pokeball, increasing his or, own, his or her collection of creatures. Pokemon already owned by other trainers cannot be captured. <coughs> False. Uh, except under special circumstances in certain games. Other than that, I was talking about different False. Well, that was talking about Coliseum and XD. I like how you just make it Yeah, because I, I forgot how to do it. Okay, there's Winery, whatever. Uh, if a Pokemon fully defeats an opponent in battle, so the opponent, opponent is knocked out, i.e. faints, uh, the winning Pokemon gains experience and may level up. Level up. When Pokemon and the game. And one of the games. So. Pokemon actually dies. Really? Yeah. It's pretty sad. Um... When leveling up, the Pokemon statistics, or stats, of badly aptitude increases, such as attack and speed, and defense, and special attack, and special defense. That's all. <laughs> I was thinking of one more, or evasiveness, which, and accuracy, all kinds of them, you You already know, it's a Pokemon game, what do you think? Uh, from time to time, the Pokemon may also learn new moves, which are techniques in battle. In addition, many species of Pokemon possess the ability to undergo a form of metamorphosis and transform into a similar similar but stronger species of Pokemon. A <laughs> process called evolution. Evolution. Oh. Uh, 
Oh yeah, the metamorphosis. I wonder if like the plant, the grass type Pokemon go through these parts. Or like a bell sprout. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, in the main series, each game's single player mode requires a trainer to, add, to raise a team of Pokemon to defeat many non yeah, many NPC uh, trainers and their Pokemon. Each game layout lays out a somewhat linear path for a specific region of the Pokemon world for the trainer's journey through. Completing events and battling opponents along the way. Each game features eight especially powerful trainers, referred to as gym leaders, <laughs> it's a complete line, uh, that the trainer must defeat in order to progress. Uh, as a reward, the trainer receives a gym badge, and once all eight badges are collected, you go on to Elite Four, and the Pokemon League, and the Champion, you know, blah 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 blah. If you beat the Champion, you are the new Champion, and you are, you gain the title of Pokemon Master. And that actually about does it. I'm not going to go into more of the, uh, info right now because I've only got three minutes left in this video and I don't want to start halfway through with the next section. What are you doing, video series? You can make a like, oh, I mean, like, you're not really good. I could. Well, see, I'm going to continue this, uh, information in the next part. Alright. And well, it's more off screen talk. Alright, start up again. Oh, yeah. Well, actually, but there's your channel. What's the one? I don't know, I never used that. I just got rid of it. This is so pointless. I know. Well, I'm level 46. And Altaria. I don't like that part of the game. Spider. Blaze Cave. Perfect! I don't know, water type. Flying type. Just blue. Just because it's blue doesn't mean it's a water type. On the original Pokemon it was. There's a Pokemon with black and white chase. <laughs> I think my house is falling apart. Oh look, it's a Viper because Blaziken died. Uh huh. Yeah. It actually fainted. Use the Thunderstone. <laughs> it's the only way. How about a revive? That might actually work a little bit. No, the Thunderstone. I think actually Viper gets it. Yeah, yeah, I think Viper actually dies. I was gonna say, I think he gets the win, but no, he dies. Well, he, the Altaria's level level is higher also. I was about to throw a Torkoal. Uh, yeah, so, whatever. This video's about over, you know. Subscribe, like, I got a new subscriber. Good friend of mine. I'm gonna check out his playthroughs. He's done a few. I don't remember what they are. Didn't shout out? No. Yeah. Also, I might be doing a co-op let's play soon. Uh, Mystery guy. With a friend of mine. And no, Steve, it's not you. Uh, the friend knows who it is. Go whenever, back they, your whenever they watch this, they'll know who they are. Uh, I'll just go and tell it right now. I actually got the Hamachi to work back on my computer, so yay. Um, so yeah. Of course, I can always tell that I'm on that I'm on Skype, but whatever. So whoa, wait a second. I can't tell when he's on. Well, I mean, he doesn't. Yeah, that's weird. I've never understood. I think my. I'm gonna ask him. Oh, I'm wearing this place. Four Tree City? Didn't like the city. Never really had that point to the point other than going to the gym and get the Devon Scope. Which we got that earlier. Steve, Steven gave it to us. Yeah. That's uh, it for this part. Yeah. Join us for part 30 where I we'll give you more useless information that you probably already know about the Pokemon series. Later. I rule! I'm a tumor!